Okay guys, we're uh, back over here at Yerger again today and uh, we're going to try and get back out here and see what else we can find. We found some silver coins and some silver uh, silver ring out here the other day. And uh, luckily enough, we got some good weather today. So, uh, so far, they said it's supposed to rain today, but I haven't seen, you know, yeah, maybe later on this evening, hopefully, you know, I mean, I, I don't hope, I hope it don't, but, you know, anyway, so, we're going to get out here and hunt for a while and see what we can do. Stay with me. Well, guys, this place just keeps on giving up silver. It's unbelievable. Check it out. I, I believe I've just found my first half dollar, but it's not American. It's Canadian, and it's, uh, the date on it is 1945. And it is silver. And it says 50 cents on it. 1945 Canadians, Canada. That's beautiful. 50 cent piece. Look at that. Silver, guys. That's the way to go. I'm glad. I'm, I know it's not American, but I'm glad it's. I'm glad it's my first half dollar right there. And we'll get back with you in a little bit. Well, I got my first Jefferson nickel today, so uh, we'll get back with y'all in a little bit. And I found a couple of memorial pennies, and we'll get back with you in a little bit. Well, guys, I just found this thing here. It looks like a uh, dice, like you, like a gambling dice. It's square like a dice, and on one side it's got one little hole there on top of it. That looks like it got five or four, six or something. Anyway, uh, that thing is, it's metal. That thing gave off a, by a dime reading on my detector ball. I mean, it really knocked my headphones off. But we'll keep that and, and uh, clean it up when we get home. I'll see y'all later. Well, I just found this. This thing says Texas Liberty on it. It's some kind of token. And uh, we'll get it back to the house and clean it up later. And maybe we'll take a picture and put it on the video. I'll see y'all later. Well, I just found my first class quarter. So we'll get back with you in a little bit. Okay, guys. Uh, here's your tip of the week for you. Um... But before we get into that, I want—I have some people I want to thank. Uh, I got uh, Lost Treasure Magazine. I want to thank all y'all over there for that, these wonderful gifts you give me. If you notice, I got my LT, my Lost Treasure cap on today, and and I've got my digging tool. I'm ready to dig. So uh, anyway, uh, and uh, I want to thank uh, some of the folks over on uh, my the forum that I like. You guys. Uh, if you're metal detecting and you're new to metal detecting, uh, you need to get involved in some kind of forum because forums are help you a lot. They got a lot of tips and and uh, different articles over there that you can learn from. So uh, my advice to you is get involved in a forum on 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 it because if you if you was raised in the computer age, which I was not raised in the computer age, but I bought them, I finally took some computer classes and got me a computer and learned how and all that. And now I can get online just about as easy as anybody else. But uh, anyway, uh, it's best to get involved in uh, some kind of forum, you know, metal detecting forum. There's different forums on the internet. The one I like is uh, Treasure Quest. So uh, come on over and join me and visit me over on Treasure Quest. Uh, I wanted to thank Craig and and Buster and and uh, Mr. Wild Widener and uh, a few of the others over there. They've been real good to me, and uh, I thank the world of them. I love all y'all over there. Y'all like family to me. So, uh, but anyway, we're going to here's the tip of the week for you. In your head, Joe, my brother. I just call him Joe. Okay. But uh, he was hunting a little house over where we grew up uh, in another town the other day and found five silver coins. And it was just a little bitty house, a little yard, you know. 
So you know, the tip of my tip of the week for you is to concentrate your efforts on, uh, you know, places that are concentrated. You know, smaller places. You know, yeah, there's there's large places out there that hold silver, you know, coins and you know and rings and stuff. You know, like old fairs and stuff like that, and old parks and, and different places. But you might try, you know, little house yards. You know, older older type houses. You know, you had to get on back before, you know, they stopped making silver, you know. But anyway, that's my tip of the week. And let's get out here and get to hunting and see if we can find something good. Well, I just found my first quiet dime of the day. Get back with you later. Just found my second quiet quarter of the day. Get back with you in a little bit. Guys, I think we're going to call it a day. It's getting pretty cloudy out here like it's been a cloud up in rain so uh, we had a pretty good day today uh, I found that silver half up there at can it's a Canadian uh, silver half and it's uh, 19 it, it is silver as you, you can see the reeded edge uh, and the date on it is 1945 and man that thing is in beautiful condition especially on the back and I'm tickled to have that I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm I'm just very happy. I wish I could have done the happy dance for you guys. And then I got a to token from a, a, a Texas Lottery token. And uh, I got three clad quarters, one clad dime. I got six, uh, Jeff, uh, six nickels, I guess they're all Jefferson. One of them's a newer nickel. And uh, I got uh, 18 memorial pennies, and I think two of them are zinc. And I got this, uh, this here's a dice, guys, and it's metal. It's either brass or copper one, but it is a dice. Like you roll dice, you know. And uh, this here, I found this laying right on top of the ground with my eyeballs. And I think it may be silver or silver plated. And uh, I think it's some kind of little bracelet or something. And anyway, uh, uh, we'll get, uh, I guess... We'll let everybody go for today. I'm pretty tired. I worked till 3:25 this morning. Got back up around nine, and so I'm pretty wore out. So I think since it's clouding up and it's been the rain, I think we're gonna call it a day. This is Lula saying good luck with your hunting and God bless.